Hey gamers, how you doing today? Got another great video for you here. We got some big news for Diablo 3. August 15th launches the public test round for season 29. We'll get into that in a moment here. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button so you never miss a video. All right, season 29, the season of the enmity. Okay, I hope I said that right. It's got some great changes coming up and Right now, with the state of Diablo 4, um, there, there is some things that are happening with Diablo 4. There's a lot of interest being lost. This is showing in a lot of metrics, uh, Metacritic, Twitch viewership, um, Google searching. Um, it, it, it's just, it, it's falling kind of down very fast. And the Diablo 3's launch at this time right now is probably a very big breath of fresh air for a lot of Diablo fans. Uh, I personally am looking forward to it and we'll be playing it um, so let's get into what's what it's going to include here so one of the biggest things that are actually coming out is the solo self found that's coming out with the season okay and so many players have been asking for this and what this is is that you can't get any help you can't do any power leveling you can't do any XP grinds with multiple players you can't do anything everything is 100% just you and your game there is solo leaderboards, but we've had them before, and where they're just being pumped and kind of like uh, inflated with people that are just power leveling the hell out of Paragon and just power leveling the hell out of shit with groups. And all this gear that they just farmed and farmed and farmed. Now, with solo self out, there 100% has to be completely solo reliant. So this completely self reliant. Um, so every drop and everything like that is all on them. So it's going to be an interesting uh, feature, and I'm actually looking forward to trying a character in there. Um, I'm most likely going to be rocking a monk. So that's my uh, my go-to character. It's kind of one of my favorites. Um, so going into the visions of the enmity. So basically, what we're what we're getting is kind of a, a random rifts portal system. One other. It's going to have these uh, diabolical fissures, is what they're called, and they're going to pop up randomly uh, anywhere from Nephilim level higher, one or higher, will have a chance to encounter one of these. And so basically, there's going to be mobs inside, you got to clear them out, obviously. And um, there's going to be some new monster affix affixes, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but so as you're going through these, the, 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 it's going to be richer rewards, richer. Um, uh, more mobs, more density, whatever the case may be, and there's going to be uh, a possibility that more portals will open within the portal. So it, it basically can be going down a rabbit hole, essentially portals. Now, so there's going to be some new affixes that are going to be coming. There's going to be enervating. It creates an area of effect around the monster that reduces players' movement speed by 65%, and cooldown reduction by 50%. Kill this guy fast. Next is also going to be Necrotic. Uh, players healing is reduced by 65%. Uh, damage over time effects to deal 100% of the uh, hit, 180% of the player's max health over 30 seconds. It's removed if the player's healed above 95%. Our promotions. <laughs> and of course, you know, since we loved it so much in Diablo 4, they brought us back, you know, resource leech. Because, you know, hitting a player and removing 65% of their maximum resource is just something that we find so much enjoyable, I don't know, that they just had to bring back for us. Yeah, uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, uh, moving on, there's going to be some paragraph changes here. There's going to be now a ceiling. Right now, currently in the PTR, we're going into the PTR, there's only going to be 800 Paragon points that you can have to your character. And that's going to be 200 per category as max. That's all you can have. Um, so basically, well, the issue here was is that people could just farm and farm and farm and farm and just like double the power, triple the power, quadruple the power with the Paragon points because when you get to Paragon 3000, you're just pretty much a god mode. Um, the highest I think it reaches like 1650 or 1700 or 1800 or something like that. Uh, to be honest, at that point, I, I don't personally, I just going past that, it's just beyond pointless but it is what it is it's fun whatever um so they're gonna make these changes and we're gonna see how this goes movement speed is also getting changed with this though 
uh, movement speed has changed to 1.125% uh, per point. Uh, you'll still be able to get the maximum 25% and over with um, the new builds. However, it, it has had that change and area damage should, damage should perform the same if not a bit uh, a bit better with the substantial improvements to, or to performances. Um, we got some community lead changes. Uh, chicken builds actually going to be viable now apparently. Um, some greater rip monsters have been uh, change as well remove toxic lurkers and out of bio swarms swarms remove dark berserkers and added savage beasts um we got some new buffs stuff like that and there's some class balance changes coming up as well um, a whole bunch of bug fixes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave a link for you guys down below so if you want to check it out great check it out uh leave a comment below let me know if, uh, what you're thinking about uh if you're thinking about trying out diablo 3 or if you're going back to Diablo 3 for the last season, um, there's also going to be, this is actually supposed to be the final season for Diablo 3. However, there are going to be future seasons. And so what's going to happen here is this is the final season they're creating content for. So season 30 and beyond um, is actually just going to be like repeated seasons of the original seasons. Um, and so forth like that like um they're just gonna repeat the content over and over again well i don't know how how they're planning on working it in or whatever the case may be but they're gonna just basically repeat the uh the season over again and that's how seasons are gonna continue from that point on so there will still be seasons for the album here now big biggest news though uh a permanent fit uh fixture or feature that's going to be in season 30 start going forward and on is going to be this uh season rights of uh Sanct season 28's rights of sanctuary sorry my apologies there um so th that's going to be that that uh palette board that we got from season 28 which was awesome everybody loved it it was a lot of fun it was great unlocking it it was it was really innovative and it was fun uh everybody enjoyed it and i don't think i heard anybody complain about it uh, some things were better than others on it, but it, it was still a lot of fun. That is going to be a, become a permanent fixture in Diablo 3 going forward past Season 30. So, some big things coming with Diablo. And again, PTR starts next week um, on the 15th. Check it out if you like. Uh, let me know what you sound up below. Let me know what you guys think about these changes and what do you think about whether or not uh, Season 30, final season for Diablo, is going to be any good. Anyhow. It's loud me here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Check me out on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, starting tonight. Um, until then, guys, keep gaming. Have a good day.